little confusing, was the actual skull with the jester hat on his chest, which, you know, could symbolize, of course, his maniacal, you know, character himself, but it also could symbolize the death of Jason Todd into the rebirth of Joker. Yeah, and so, I mean, this is an interesting theory, and, I mean, honestly, I would be absolutely thrilled if, that was possible. If that's actually where they're going yeah. with this, we, we we also have to mention the um tie. As we've all known, the Suicide Squad and Batman v Superman are very tied in together. Um, there, there's actually in the in Batman v Superman, there's actually a Robin costume on display, and I don't remember the exact words, but there's something a message clearly from the Joker to Batman about it. Yeah, and, and definitely it is a clear thing. Also, the newspaper, um, you know, you you let your family die. Uh, there, there's a lot of interesting tidbits um, between the two movies that definitely symbolize that Joker is not actually Joker. Um, the main thing that really caught me with the Suicide Squad trailer, which, which I'm not sure if you noticed, you never once saw... Harley Quinn and Joker together. And here's the thing. I mean, a lot of the footage that was leaked out, uh, they there's footage of of him going of the Joker actually hitting Harley Quinn back before she lost her mind. Uh, there's also another scene where apparently they're in a Harley Quinn and Joker in the car with Batman on the roof. Uh, and so I mean, there has been footage, but they didn't show it in. This, in, in, in the trailer, in the trailer and, and, at all, and, and a lot of the scenes that they have showed them together, they're not showing the closeness of Joker and Harley Quinn that we all know. So there is definitely a lot of hints that maybe the Joker isn't actually Joker, because you know Harley Quinn obviously loves Joker. Now we do have to question whether or not she loves Joker or the idea of Joker, and that's an interesting. Uh, from you know I, what I've read recently about Harley, it's you know part of it is that the jo- you know being with the Joker and everything helped her to just let go because yeah. you know she was this uptight psychiatrist who thought she could help all these supervillains, and by being with the Joker, she was just la- able to just let everything go. Yeah. So if this theory is right, and I really hope it is, it explains a lot. Uh, it obviously explains why Joker looks really thug, which is not how Joker is. It's a, and here's I, I believe that actually in the same article they go off and suggest how the real Joker would never sit still for to have that many tattoos done. No, and that's definitely a good point. And there was one fan that really kind of made something that stand out to me, and it's the teeth. You know, the one thing that I've always hated was the fact you know how his teeth were with the gold you know caps. In the comic books, you know, Todd was actually beaten across the head with a crowbar. So it is possible that the only reason he has the gold teeth is because he has no teeth. So you know, it, it definitely, it, it's an interesting fan theory. I love fan th- theories personally. Uh, it may not be true. It may be true. We may never know. But it definitely, it gives some a new momentum to the movie. And... Possibly new hope to something that kind of looked garbage. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm telling you, I, 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 I you know, I, I've spoke about this on previous episodes. I, I you know, I thought you, the Suicide Squad trailer was great up until I saw the Joker, and I was completely disappointed. This better be true because, I mean, honestly, if this was true, my mind would be completely blown. I'd be looking at this completely different. Yeah, no, it does. And, you know, I'm not sure if I should be saying this, but I'm going to anywhere. Anyways, there was a picture leaked of a gravestone in Batman v Superman of the second, uh, I believe it was the... It's the first. It was the first Robin. Yeah. So that is definitely Richard, a very interesting tie-in. Th- which, I mean, yeah, and it says on there, it says Richard Grayson, which, of course, is Dick Grayson. Uh, in the comic books, Dick Grayson uh, you know, uh, gives up the Robin persona when he grows up to become Nightwing. So this does suggest that we, at least for now, anyways, we will not see 
uh, Nightwing. No, in, but, you know, but this does tie in with the theory that this is Todd. It's definitely, you know, would it be interesting? Now, what was that? There was a line that Bruce Wayne apparently says in the movie. Yes. Um, and, how, how many people, you know, how many good people are out there and how many have stayed that way? Which is definitely a very interesting remark that could tie in with Todd again. This is the first time that we've been able to tie Todd, when it, Todd in with anything. I'm really excited with that, you know, theory. Obviously, by the way, I'm talking... I love Joker, but I love the storyline of Todd much more be, because it was he was, he took Joker to a whole new persona because he wasn't the Joker. Oh, exactly. He went off. I mean, Jason Todd goes off in and you know steals the Joker's you know old persona as the Red Hood. It makes it, and actually is more successful as the Red Hood than the Joker was. Yeah, he, he's more maniacal. He's more crazy. He's more. Off the wall, just nuts. Which, if you really look at the way he was talking in in the trailer and the film that they're showing, it really adds up. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just. I mean, absolutely. It may. This makes so much more sense if this is true. Yeah. And the last reference I am going to talk about this because obviously we do have one other thing to talk about which is a huge thing from when we were a kid but they did make when we're talking about the newspaper and all that it's a reference to a death in the family um which is basically the same storyline and timeline that's the jason that's and, the, and, and the storyline yeah. where jason todd dies so you know it basically i don't know if they intentionally do all this to make us think about it so maybe we won't look at joker as this bad thing anymore or maybe it is actually true, and it's not so much a fan theory, but a leaked theory. Which is a very unique way to look at it. Okay, and I instead of me going off and digging into more, we are just going to go straight into the final thing. Yeah, um, over the, the last while, everyone, you know, they've been really turning video games into movies. Yes, yeah, the, we're uh, we're in the, discussing how uh, they're bringing out a rampage yep. movie with uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson starting. Yes, in it. Uh, actually, it's uh, basically it's going to be a three peat of three guys who've worked together. It's Dwayne Johnson needs no re- you know re- recognition of who he really if is. You smell what the Rock is cooking. Uh, Brad Payton, uh, director from San Andreas, uh, and. Bo Flynn, he's going to produce it. Now, all three of these guys have worked together for San Andreas and Journey to the Mysterious Island. So, you know, they have the chemistry. Now, I don't, you know, understand. I I don't really know the idea of how they're going to make this work. But Rampage was a 1980 arcade game. Uh, Basically, you you could play, it was a mutated human uh, there was a giant ape, a giant lizard, a gorilla, and a, lizard, and werewolf, and the werewolf. And basically, they walked around North America, destroying buildings and eating it people. It was actually the entire world. And I'm, I'm actually went off and beat that game. Yes. And here's the thing, though: I don't know how they're going to take a game with such a simplistic storyline, where as you know, these giants, you know, these people get mutated into giant monsters. Who have to eat humans to go off and to continue on the rampage yeah. while fending off, you know, the army all over the world. Yeah, which, which it sounds like Dwayne Johnson will actually be uh, in a role against these monsters. So that's an interesting way. Um, but if anyone can do it, I think these three are the key factor in making this work. Oh yeah, absolutely. And if if he has proved anything over the last few years. Uh, the Rock is, you know, a really capable actor who's able to go, go off and carry almost any story. He he has so much emotion and heart that he, he, he could obviously you look at some of the crappier movies in his uh, career, but he still managed to act his way out of it. So it wasn't complete crud, just partly crud. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know what? He 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 managed to go off and turn ga- uh, what as uh, I believe it was referenced in the original Blues Brothers. Yep. 
Uh, he he managed to turn goat piss into gasoline. Yes, you know what I mean. Um, and obviously, wrestlers have been known to make good actors because they pretty much have to act anyways. Yeah, you know, uh, John Cena apparently uh, he was in the movie Trainwreck, which I haven't seen, which is pretty much his career lately. But I don't know. I, he's still Shush. usually the the top Just star. Just agree to with me. Uh, never. You uh, but fail apparently as a human he being. went off and. Uh, he he tr- apparently turned a lot of heads in his small part in Train Wreck, and which I have yet di- to see. So yeah, it just came out on Friday. I have no desire to see this. We had, uh, some of our friends actually want to see this movie, and I will I will have to pick their brain about it. No, I won't. No, it, they apparently they thought it was just a ghastly, uh, you know, uh, sick mess. Of, well, they you know, they had to put something sickly to go against Ant Man. It seems to be the thing. Like any superhero movie that comes out, they put something awful beside it. Yeah, I mean, it was the um, I believe the number two or number three movie in the box office this year. Well, that I don't understand and that. Ant Man made like fifty million dollars. But anyways, so that's our show tonight. Uh, we're gonna start wrapping this up now. Okay, so uh, quickly we're gonna go through the Twitter accounts. Twitter, 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 Twitter. Okay, uh, starting with the show, you can follow it at Fizz Mast Show. You can follow me at That Mask Guy. You can follow the most explosive host at Real C-A-P-T Fizz, at Real Captain Fizz. You also can find us on YouTube, which Thanks. has been failing us. Yes, you know, YouTube, why are you mocking us? One episode works, and then on the next episode, it'll post two of the three. And I don't understand it. YouTube, you failed me. Yes. uh, We will continue trying to uh, post episodes on YouTube. But, of course, you can always go back and uh, listen to our episodes right here on Spreaker. Uh, You also can find us on Facebook. We're also on Tumblr, where we post uh, all the actual videos that we actually post. Which I, I think is the reason YouTube doesn't work anymore. YouTube does not like Tumblr. Apparently not. And that makes me angry. Well, they do say you twit face for a reason. <laughs> no there, there's no Tumblr in there. Um, I don't know. Someone you know, was kind of you know, suggesting that we try pin, Pinterest. I Never going to happen. I don't know. I, I'm kind of the, the social media guy here Never at the show. Never going to happen. So, uh, so you can, you know... You know, so uh, like and follow us on Facebook. Give us a bunch of ideas, guys. You know, we we need some you know ideas as to what to do on the show. Uh, I go off and through the uh, at this mass show, I go off and do a bunch of uh, happy birthdays to celebrities, and writers, and directors, and blah blah blah. I occasionally retweet them. Um, as far as people that are in the sci-fi, fantasy, horror genres. Uh, also, you know, any cartoon shows. And David Spade. And David Spade, apparently. Yes, I, I will. Only off. because it's a time-traveling movie, his next one. It, it was a technicality, you know. Screw though- those technicalities. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the meantime, and in between time, all I have to say to you now is good night, God bless, may the Force be with you. Stay frosty, people. Have a good night. Enjoy your damn weekend. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.